So what then is faith? So we are looking at what faith is. What is faith? Anybody following so far? All right. Faith is accessing. So we have looked at understanding the understanding, two understandings, one understanding what faith is, and then understanding rele of relevant scriptures. And now we have seen that we have seen what faith is not, and now we want to see what faith is. First, faith is accessing the thoughts and way of God in order to experience the acts and wonders of God. Again, faith is accessing the thoughts and ways of God in order to experience the acts and the wonders of God. I'll break it down. In the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and in verse 8 and 9. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So we are dealing with the thoughts and ways of God. Psalm 103 verse 7. The Bible said he made his ways known to Moses so that the children of Israel can see his acts. What am I talking about? The thoughts and the ways of God. Breaking it down further, in faith, you see things the way God sees them. And you think, you begin to think the way God thinks on the basis of his word. And then you begin to experience the acts and the wonders of God. You, you see things as you study scripture, you began to see things the way God sees them. Everything is cheap, everything is easy. The Lord taketh pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. He will be and serve him. And so on. You begin to see things the way God sees them, based on what he said. And you begin to think the way God thinks, based on his word. And then you begin to experience the acts and the wonders of God. Am I communicating? Now, look, this is the, the, the basic thing. You access the thoughts of God. And the Bible is the container of his thoughts. Then you also access his ways, steps to take, things to do. You access the thoughts, you access the ways. This is how to think and this is, th this is what, how to behave. And when you are connected to the thoughts and to the ways, then you effortlessly begin to see the acts and the wonders of God. Somebody say amen. No, the reason why we are not at the same level of results is because we haven't seen things the same way and we haven't taken the same steps. One pastor was talking to me some time ago. Very, very funny pastor. He said, man of God, you know, if you wait for me to take the kind of steps you have taken, in order to see the kind of result you are seeing, person feet die in your hand. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> he said, if you want me to exactly pass through, follow the, the schedule, and strictly receive the way, see the things you saw, and take the steps you take, if you wait for me to follow that procedure, person feet die in your hand. <laughs> he said, so just pity me. 
and uh, relax some things for my sake. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I don't beg for money. I don't borrow for money. I don't preach for money. I forget to take offerings many times. But I am doing what scripture wants me to do. And I am seeing things that I must see effortlessly. So the man said, please don't allow me to pass through that. My faith may not reach that level. So instead of you waiting for me to experience that, if you have anything to give me, just dash me. <laughs> Just, just pity me and just spare me this trouble. <laughs> but I was very, I was so touched by that sincerity. The person if it die in your hand. Hallelujah. So, so this is basically what we are talking about. In the course of your study of scripture, you saw, you, you, con you got connected to the thought patterns of God. And his ways and how he does things and expects you to do the things. And you faithfully follow him. Then you see his acts. Then you see his wonders. Somebody say aloud, Amen. Secondly, what is faith? Faith is the combination of positive expectations. And action. Positive expectation and action. But that's not where, what, where it stops. The combination of positive expectation and action based on scriptural revelations and convictions. That is, faith is the combination of positive expectation and action based on scriptural revelations and convictions. This is what it means. Out of the scripture, you got some revelations. And those revelations gave you very strong conviction in whatever area it is. And these convictions become fashioned into expectations, magnetic expectations, with corresponding actions. Hello? Magnetic expectations with corresponding actions. Then the outcome, solid manifestation. That is faith. Faith is not just, I am expecting to be rich. No. Or I am expecting... To become the head of another tail. No. That expectation is, is backed up with solid action. Positive action. I won't remain and be sleeping at home. My work is waiting somewhere. I have to go and get it. So you wake up in the morning. When people who are going to work are going to work. Because my work is somewhere. Positive expectation with positive action. And why is that? And that is coming from where? If they are coming from revelations that gave you conviction that this thing is possible. So the day you run out of revelation, you run out of conviction. And you run out of conviction, you run out of expectation. And you run out of expectation, you run out of action. And you run out of action, you run out of manifestation. Did you see that equation? Every day you run out of revelation or insight of scripture. You run out of conviction. You don't believe anything anymore. When you run out of conviction, you run out of expectation. You don't expect anything. When you run out of expectation, you run out of the corresponding action. So you don't do anything. When you run out of all that, you run out of manifestation. But that will never be your portion. In Jesus' name. Is there anybody understanding this small? So, so you can see how faith is, 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 is very easy, very simple. Finally, 
Faith is seeing possibilities out of scripture. You saw how the fish swallowed Jonah or Jonah swallowed the fish or something swallowed something and then you realize that anything is possible with God. You saw how the rock brought water to feed to give drink to four and a half million people or three and a half million people. You saw how a 17 mile highway was made in the Red Sea. Seeing possibilities out of scripture. Or maybe what God said to you out of scripture. Seeing possibilities out of scripture. Accepting the responsibilities of scripture. So you saw the possibilities. You accepted the responsibilities. And experiencing the realities of those possibilities. Say that again. Faith is seeing possibilities out of scripture. You saw possibilities from scripture. You accepted the responsibilities. What you need to do for those possibilities to happen. Then you began to experience the realities of those possibilities. Somebody say aloud, Amen. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. I will stand upon my watch, I will set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say to me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. I will watch to see what he will say. I am watching to see what God says. Somebody say amen. You see possibilities out of scripture. You accept the responsibilities of scripture. Then you begin to experience the reality of those possibilities. Somebody say a loud amen. Faith happens when the heart captures the picture of scripture. Faith happens when the heart has captured the picture of scripture. That is, you didn't just hear what God said, you saw it. Have you ever been to a, a situ, been in a situation where somebody is talking to you and you say, I see, I see. When he started talking at first, you didn't see. Then I say, I see, oh, I see. Did you see it with your two eyes? Not necessarily. With your mind's eye. Faith happens when the heart captures the picture of scripture. Apoyedeko said, the scripture that changed his mentality about divine health Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 himself took 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 that he was that was spoken by as the prophet said himself took I need this short usher here to come you know how short you are he said when he saw himself took it's as if God opened his eyes. As if he was carrying something. Took. That is in his mind it was taken. Or if you permit me it was taken. That is a past tense of took. He says, so he saw T-O-O-K, took. So that was all he needed to be healthy. That what has been taken is not there. Many of us read it, but he saw it. I 
Am I communicating at all? Where there are things that you, you either you are listening to a tape or reading a passage or scripture or something and you saw it. You saw. Now, when I was a medical student, me and God, we, we agreed before I went to university. I said, Lord, I am going to school to represent you and I, I will not fail one exam because I knew how medical school was. I'm not going to be the first or the last doctor. And so I'm, there's nothing, no big deal. But I'm going to represent you very well. Anything you want me to do, I will do. And I want you to ensure that I don't disgrace you by failing. It was a sealed deal. Then I saw in scripture, I am the head, not the tail, above only, never beneath. I saw that when Jesus entered temptation, he went to the cross once. He didn't, he didn't take a, an exam twice. I saw that God has a pen with which he can write if necessary. He wrote the Ten Commandments by his hand. So if need be, he can assist me when necessary. You know, one day I wrote an exam that I didn't, I, I told you the story many times. I, they gave a pathology exam, two years work, pathomorphology, morbid anatomy. Write the autopsy findings of a man dying of primary liver cell cancer. Autopsy finding. Autopsy means the man has died and you have done the, the post-mortem to find the cause of death. And the question say a man dying. Autopsy finding. I say a man dying, he hasn't died. Why will you do post-mortem when he hasn't died? Not knowing that it was a... <laughs> as far as medical people are concerned, if they say a man is dying, he must die. You know, doctors can tell you, you have two more weeks to live. Am I communicating? So for them, the man is dying, he will die. And after he has died, you have done the autopsy. <laughs> what will you find? Me, I said he hasn't died. Why should you do the autopsy? My answer was two lines. The man has not died. No need for autopsy. <laughs> and the mark is over 25. One quarter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I left there, I, outside the exam hall, I now understood what has happened. Not that I didn't want to understand. I said, Lord, you know I know the answer. The problem is that I misunderstood the question. So the answer you know that I know, please help me put it down. Real. Before the exam came out, one of those who marked the exam saw me at the teaching hospital. He began to congratulate me from far. He said, what a performance. <laughs> a performance for a question I didn't answer? What a performance. See, it was too much. Ah, yeah. Of course, if God assists you, it has to be too much. But this is what I'm saying. Right through that period, I never in the see. Every time it was time to, after an exam, people go, some people are dodging to see, to look at the screen. Did I pass? They'll be looking from the back. Praise God, I passed. Some actually went to confirm their failure. Oh, I knew. I knew I would not pass. But beloved brothers and sisters, it never crossed my imagination one day that I will go to the screen or the exam board and see fail anatomy, fail biochemistry. It didn't cross me once. I don't know. If I had seen fail, maybe I would have told them it wasn't my paper. So, your, 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 your conviction comes to a point where there are things that are clear in your mind. They are clear to you. You see the picture of the possibility. You refuse to see otherwise. 
and you take the responsibility necessary. I was reading, of course, I read night till morning at times. Not to go and sleep and say, God is helping me. No. Read brutally, brutally. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? You take the relevant responsibility. And then, you're on the journey of faith. There is somebody here I prophesy to you. My God and your God is about to cause you to see possibilities out of his world. Possibilities that will translate into reality. Do you believe that? Shout the loudest, amen. Shout the loudest, amen. Shout amen at the top of your voice. Take your seat. Is anybody getting anything at all tonight? So in faith, you access the thoughts of God, the ways of God, to experience the acts and the wonders of God. Then you combine positive expectation with positive action that is based on scriptural revelations and convictions. Then you see possibilities out of scripture. You ac accept the responsibilities of the scripture so you can see those realities. There are things that you have seen in your dreams that are about to become physical. Say a louder amen. So we said there are two understandings that build faith. And we have dealt with one of them. That is the understanding of what faith is. 